All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Uh, please invite your friends. Uh, we are using the Arabian Prophet account for today. Uh, we did not use it for long for broadcast. Uh, and this account, I have uh, thousands of subscribers, and soon they will receive notification. I hope. Uh, before we start today, uh, our brother Amir is going to call me soon and he will be with me in this program uh, from Germany. Um, in QuickBooks, in front of me here, I want to share with you first one of you who sent me this, um, this news website from Indonesia. which says that a man sentenced for four years in prison for religious, you know, teaching. And for sure, as usual, this person is a Christian person who is trying to preach the gospel. This is his crime. And here we see that the Muslims trying hard to stop Christianity and how much they are not confident about their cult. To the point, in order to stop Christianity, we have to put people in jail just for speaking about Christ. And yet the Muslim, they claim that they love Christ and they respect, you know, uh, him and love him. But yet if you speak about him, yet that you are a person who love him so much, the point you believe that he is your, his God, then you go to jail. This is how much those or this cult have a fear from Christianity. Now those who they are under discrimination, always they are in our prayer. And the Lord for sure, he is with them and they are the best of us. For discrimination, make from Christians the best of the Christians. The same as a fire make of the iron the best of the steel. Uh, you know, discrimination was from the beginning of Christianity, nothing new. And the best time of Christianity, it was, and it is going to be always, when Christians are discriminated. So for me, discrimination is not really something um i mean it's not going to be something negative it filtered the true christians from the false christians and it make it clear who is really a person who is a believer and who is not just a person by name you know when the muslims invasion started uh in the middle east there are some christians who they are christians by name they converted to islam just to avoid paying jizya and to be discriminated and humiliated but the true Christians never, never left their belief. Uh, so this is how it is. It's good. It's for our best. It's nothing really uh, bad about it. And in the top of that, actually, all the discrimination opened the eyes of many citizens in those countries, wondering why, why we need to stop people from speaking about the Messiah Yet we claim to be Muslims who love Jesus. Uh, we have a brother, Amir, is calling. Hello? My brother. Hey, Amir, how are you, my friend? I'm fine, my brother. How are you? I'm all right. I will put uh, uh, Amir camera for you guys, and so you can see him. Uh, Amir, today he is with me, in the, and actually we will try to do more work together. And we will try to explain things people like to learn or let us say to understand. Uh, Amir, before we start, uh, uh, I'm sure there's many from Germany that will come today and they will be with us here. But before we start, you ask me about this hadith, the one is, which is in front of me, where Muhammad... Uh, f first, you want to say hello to everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, peace of Christ to all you, all of you. Um, first of all, I, I have to say that we are not here to offend Muslims. We are here to um, bring the truth out. And we want to see that because the Muslim says uh, Islam is the truth and uh, everything in Islam is so beautiful and it has no contradiction. The Quran is so pure and not hateful and so and when I look at the sources, I see a full of contradiction, full of hate. And uh, it is not normal how they lie to us in a way that they, um, what, what, what is that in, in English? Uh, try to deceive us, you know? 
uh, everything based in Islam is on deceiving people. And we are here to help the Muslim uh, to uh, see the truth of Islam from the Islamic sources, that we're telling the truth, that uh, Brother Christian Prince tell the truth. And I'm very thankful uh, for the Brother Christian Prince that he helped me in my life when I was a Muslim and I uh, proved the sources that he um, posted in his videos and it helped me a lot. And now I want to help some other Muslims to see the truth about Islam. And uh, we love you, Muslim, and we want to see you. Uh, we want to um, uh, we want to see that the, the truth will come out and the truth will set you free. You know that is written in John eight uh, thirty two, I think. Huh? You know. Okay. This is the purpose. Yes, the purpose is not but offending. The second you start saying the truth, you will offend people that's for sure and we don't you know for me myself i, I don't really i don't care about okay. offending Purpose. people as much as i care about how truthful i am you know this is the important uh, we mm. have to be we have to be truthful and offending is something happening automatically in the second you start saying things people don't like to hear what i can say this is how it is but for yeah. sure the purpose is not to offend but when you say the truth, you will offend somebody. Like when you say Muhammad is a false prophet, he got offended. I understand. But he's a false prophet, and the proof is in front of us. The hadith today we are talking, going to talk about is a clear proof, clear evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet. And you asked me uh, for the reference from uh, sunnah.com, correct, uh, Amir? So what, yes, what, what the German reaction about this hadith? What, what, what people they say about this hadith? Uh, the, the Muslims don't comment on my uh, commented on my uh, video or my new video uh, because they what what uh, want to say you know this Sahih Muslim they don't can say anything. Yeah, this is Sahih number two seven four nine. Yes, I say to them, is that God that He want that we sin and then He uh, kill us and make a new uh, creation that uh, they uh, can ask Allah for forgiveness. Is that God? No. God wants to see uh, everybody comes to the truth in um, First Timothy two four. You know, God wants that everybody want uh, is be rescued or saved. You know, but here, here you see, we need to analyze the logic of this uh, a person who they call him God. The hadith in the front mm -hmm. of us says, "By him who his hand." Uh, uh, is my life which means Muhammad is written by Allah if you were mm -hmm. not to commit sin Allah would sweep you out of existence which means he would destroy you and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah and he would have uh, like you know uh, he, and he will forgive them now here uh, to understand this logic imagine there's a guy you call him God, you call him whatever you want to call him, but he is in control. And then this guy, he wants you to do wrong because if you do wrong, you ask him for forgiveness. And if you don't do wrong, then you will not need to ask for forgiveness. And that mm -hmm. is not for his benefit. Based on this, Allah is a very sick person who is <laughs> enjoying destroying or bringing us he did not bring us to life for for nothing he bring us to life to do sin so why because he want us to ask for forgiveness he like people to say please forgive me please yeah. please Allah, forgive me. Yeah. Allah want to say to him oh forgive me Allah for uh, committing sin but he is the one who let you uh, who let people astray and uh, commit sin you know and you know it, it's obviously not only that it's requirement for you it's requirement by Allah because anyway you commit sin you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you but if you commit sin if you commit sin you have a better choice to stay alive until you die but if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you at all you know and because he, he, he's not having fun he need people to uh, uh, to ask for forgiveness and this is here like a like somebody is lonely somebody here have, have a mental uh, problem uh, somebody he's a sicko he's a, he's a ill uh, uh, you know what kind of God he want to do that? I mean, and this is this is a contradiction for everything the Muslims they teach in their uh, 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 cult uh, mosque. They say that Adam because he commits sin, Allah he kick him out from heaven. Well, Adam, if he did not commit sin, based on Muhammad said, Allah will kill him anyway, mm -hmm. and he will create a new Adam. 
and the mm. new Adam, if he did not commit sin, Allah will destroy him too. And he will create a new Adam. Until there is an Adam who commits sin, and then that Adam he asks Allah for forgiveness. And the funny in the Quran, Adam he commits sin and he asks Allah for forgiveness, and Allah he forgave him, but yet he kicked him out from heaven. <laughs> After he forgave him. <laughs> this is the most funny story I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, like he said, uh, well, you know, Rabbi. So he received uh, from Allah words of repentance from his Lord. So he accepted his repentance. And now, and why and why Adam was uh, forgiven? You know, you know why uh, Amir? Do you remember why? Why uh, why Allah he forgave Adam after he commits sin in heaven? Oh, I don't remember, brother. When Adam he was created by Allah, he lifted his head up. He lifted his head up and he looked at the chair and he saw in the chair of Allah it's written the Shahada that there is no God but Allah and there is no prophet but Muhammad. So Adam he said to Allah, Forgive me, please, for the sake of Muhammad. Allah he looked at Adam, he said to him, What? How you know about Muhammad? Huh? I did not even how you know about him? I did not create him yet. So Adam he said, Allah, I saw his name in your chair. And there is no way if he's not the most beloved person for you, you will put his name in your chair. Allah, he said, you are right, Adam. Because of that, I will forgive you. And I challenge any Muslim to call us right now and to say this is a lie. And this is a story is fake. No? Yes. Brother, I don't know why Muslims uh, want to um, call you. And every time when, I call, uh, every time when I'm um, being in a discussion with Muslims, they say, oh, Christian Prince, who is Christian Prince? And, and uh, he's nobody. And I say, okay, when he's nobody, why you come uh, come here in this room and debate him when he's nobody? Uh, I saw why you are you to, to uh, bring your arguments in the room that everybody can hear and then let the Christian Prince respond about it? I saw today an article. Let me see if I can find it. A guy, he said, he is talking about me. He said the Christian Prince is expert in winning debate by not giving you a chance to talk. And I challenge any Muslim to prove that. I always, you know, all, all what I do, I, I am consistent person. If we have a topic, we, we continue in it. You don't jump from topic to topic like a monkey. You start mm -hmm. something, you ask the question. The, the question you ask, be, be a man and finish it. You don't jump before we finish the first topic you jump to second topic and then before we answer about the second topic you jump to the third topic the purpose the muslim they do that if you notice they don't Very want you they don't they don't want you they are afraid i will, I will ask a question so you, they ask you a question and then you start answering the question before you finish the first question they make a new question so you will be busy now with the second question forgetting about the first question and they will not ask them a question so they stay like this Keeping you like about uh, like you are a you are a guy who play football and your job is to collect the ball not to play with it. So they keep throwing <laughs> balls at you and don't, they will not allow you to play with the ball. This is the whole issue. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that with the Christian press. You call me. Right. You ask question. I challenge any Muslim right now to call and to say whatever he want to say. Say whatever you want. You see, I'm not going to ask you to speak about specific thing. Anything you wish. And give me a time to answer you back and let us see what is your response. Here we go. We are live mm -hmm. on air. So they make excuse. You know, I, I saw an article saying uh, if you if you uh, if you talk to Christian Prince, don't say yes, don't say no, whatever he say to you. What? Why? Because <laughs> if you say yes, he will trap you. If you say no, he will trap you. It doesn't matter what you say, you know. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. are afraid they are afraid not because of a christian prince but they, because they knew islam something wrong with it everything is wrong with it so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what they say about islam they are going to be busted and i don't you know i i feel sorry for the muslims it's not my fault that you cannot win a debate it is your religion it's your religion is so stupid to the point nobody can defend this religion like now who can defend this hadith who can mm -hmm. defend and explain the logic of such a God who will destroy mm -hmm. mankind for not committing sin? Why? What is justice? Brother, can I uh, offer uh, some uh, German Muslims uh, here in this room? I think there is a lot of German Muslims here in this room now. Uh, I want to speak with them in German for a few seconds. Sure, sure. Anytime you, they, feel you need to speak in German, feel free, please. Okay, also uh, ihr Muslime, die jetzt gerade hier in dem Raum seid und das seht, fühlt euch frei anzurufen 
und den Bruder eure Argumente vorzubringen. Es kann ja nicht sein, dass ihr die ganze Zeit behauptet, der Islam ist die Wahrheit und niemand kommt zum Raum und äh, testet den Bruder mal. Das bedeutet eindeutig, dass ihr Angst vor der Wahrheit habt. Wenn es jemanden, wenn es einen Muslim gibt, zum Beispiel einen Gelehrten, der fast jeden zweiten oder dritten Tag live kommt und die äh, Christen auffordert zu einer Debatte, was meint sie, wie Christen sich sofort äh, auf den Weg machen würden, um mit diesen äh, Gelehrten zu sprechen? Verstehst du, wer doch die Wahrheit bei sich hat, der darf doch nichts fürchten. Also gibt es genügend Gründe, Gründe für Muslime, nicht hier in den Raum zu kommen, weil der Bruder sich natürlich bestens auskennt. Aber es kann doch nicht sein, dass man so leichtfertig mit seiner Seele umgeht, versteht ihr? Es muss doch möglich sein, eine normale Konversation, ihr wollt doch was lernen, ihr wollt doch sehen, ob der Islam die Wahrheit ist, dann lasst uns doch mal testen, ob der Islam die Wahrheit ist. Bis jetzt kam noch niemand, und ich weiß, und ihr habt den Bruder auch, ihr habt den äh, Bruder Christian Prince auch, ähm, äh, wie heißt das, ihr seid auf die Suche gegangen, wer er überhaupt ist. Er hat mindestens über, also ich glaube, lass mich nicht lügen, über tausende von Debatten gehabt. Darunter waren auch hochrangige Imame und Sheikhs. Und die hat er aussehen lassen wie der letzte Witz. Was meint ihr, was er mit euch machen würde, wenn ihr auftauchen würdet? Aber es ist ja auch kein Problem. Es geht ja hier um die Wahrheit, um unsere Seele. Versteht ihr? Es muss doch möglich sein, dass ihr die Wahrheit herausfinden wollt. Was befindet sich überhaupt in den islamischen Schriften? Kommt und lasst uns mal gucken, was da los ist. Und ich frage den Bruder jetzt ein paar Fragen und er soll uns mal Stück für Stück alles zeigen. Weil ich habe ja viele Videos gemacht bezüglich auch, dass Mohammed dämonisch besessen war. Und ich möchte den Bruder jetzt gleich fragen, was das Ganze auf sich hat. Uh, brother, I have a question. Ja, yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I made a video about uh, the Uh, Muhammad, he was demon possessed, and there is a tafsir from Al Qurtubi mm -hmm. that he said that Al Abiyad came in f uh, in form of Jibril to him, yeah. and some Muslims said, "Oh no, this is not true. Al Qurtubi never said such a thing," and the satanic verses is also um, not true. This is a false. There is no uh, right right chain in it. Uh, you know what what they say. You know the arguments about these two topics? Yeah, well, you know, uh, the Muslim, they can say whatever they want. And mm -hmm. we have an offer. Who is the Muslim on a call us right now? And he will discuss with us this story. And he will be a person who is willing to read what we are going to show him in the screen. Is that a good deal? No. Do you see this, Ami? You misquoted Al Qurtubi. You look at this. I'm reading from his book and he said, they say you misquoted it. <laughs> okay, who is the one who wanna call us and read it for us? He don't misquote that you call it for us. Yes. Who is the one who will read the story for us and please don't misquote? Any Muslim would like to do so? Ruf doch an. Actually, we will, not, we will not even even quote the story for you. Uh you you read the story for us. You read you read the story for us for us from the source which you like and uh you know whatever you want to say say let us see what you want to how present the story for us what is this story is about who is the muslim on a call us <laughs> any muslim i mean what how how easier we can make it uh more than this Any Abdul? No Abdul. <laughs> no Abdul. So what we can do, you know, what we can do, if you Muslims don't want to 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 tell us what what's happening, uh, then you know, uh, uh, you know, we have to stuck with what we heard. We need somebody to correct us. Who is the smart Muslim? Uh, who can correct us? Who is the smart, decent Muslim who have a knowledge? We complain ja, about ist something. But all of them are scholars, you know? I have re refuted Christian Prince, he's a liar, uh, but nobody wants to step in a debate, you know? 
what, this is not what, the what is the Muslims. what is the best uh, uh, you know option from just uh, uh, you know uh, calling us right now and, uh, and you know they don't have to speak about this topic any topic you know because they keep saying to us uh, you are lying and etc and but they, but nobody is doing what he need to do you know uh, the, mm -hmm. the Quran itself uh, and the hadith is inconsistency that that Muhammad always he, he was suffering from problems one of them is illusion second one that he have under black magic uh, number three muhammad himself he said that allah he sent jibreel in the image of dahyal kalbi and how we know that mm -hmm. dahyal kalbi himself is not the shaitan himself how we know what is the proof why why jibreel is coming from the, the image of dahyal kalbi and when the quran when the hadith says that Muhammad he used to imagine himself in the image of a, of a, of a, uh, you know like having sex with the with the uh, with his wife, but in fact he never he never did. How we know that Muhammad in that uh, in that moment he cannot imagine you know he imagined uh, uh, angels coming to him. What mm -hmm. what is what is the guarantee that Muhammad is not mentally ill after all those evidence? Those are coming from your books, mm -hmm. you know, and how Jibreel. You know, look, the Quran, if we go in the Quran, just to show the Muslims some examples of the madness of, of Muhammad. Muhammad, he say things always, he contradict himself. So if mm -hmm. we go in the in the Quran, we will find the following. Let's see. Uh... Ja, Muslim, uh, we put the Wahrheit. Kommt und stellt euch der Wahrheit. Yeah, you know, the, 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 the Quran confirmed to us many things about, about Muhammad. That Muhammad, he is a person who say things, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. And always he, uh, you know, he contradict himself. You see, the Quran says, if this is a book not from God, he will come, uh, you know, he will come with contradiction. The book will be full mm -hmm. of contradiction. And if we read the whole Quran, any verse from the ones that are coming in front of me, uh, I challenge any Muslim to show me one verse in the Quran is not a contradiction for other verses in the Quran. All, <laughs> all the Quran from the beginning, from the first verse to the last verse is a contradiction. And, you know, uh, uh, this is the challenge to make it simple. Who is the Muslim when I call me right now and say to me, show me, I will give you a chapter. And I challenge you, a chapter of your choice, not my choice. You see, you have many, many chapters in the Quran. You call me and you say, Christian Prince, I want you to show me from this chapter a problem, an error, a mistake. I mean, do you see how easy it is? How easy it can be more than this? Uh, you see, I was going to show you something in the screen. I said, no, no, let us, let us give the Muslim the chance. You choose the best of the chapters you have, the one you think it have no holes in it. You know, so if we put the one, if, if we put one dollar coin, it's not going to go down in the hole and it's going to come out, and that will be a problem. Choose one, have no holes. What if we put a coin, it's going to stay there? Who is the one who dare to do so? A chapter of your choice, Muslims. That means, brother, that means every chapter or every verse is a contradiction in, him, in, in himself. Every. I, I, I don't want to uh, like be ex a person like Muhammad who exaggerate and say even every sentence have a problem, you know. But but uh, <laughs> but uh, I will give the Muslims the choice to call us and to make us, uh, you know, the, show us that we are wrong. I want to see. I want to see the Muslim who want to show me that we are wrong. As simple as that. They complain, but they complain about what I don't know. We have a Muslim. He wants to call. Okay, <laughs> he can call. He can join us in the call. We can add you in the conversation. Call us, my friend. You can call us right now, Debate TV. <coughs> ah, that means we can have a discussion with more than the two or three guys in, in the same time? Yeah, we can add uh, We can add to our conversation one more or many. You know, it's not no problem. Ah, uh -huh, perfect. Yeah. Let us see if this person he will call because somebody told me 
uh, that uh, a Muslim he would like to call. And I hope he will, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm waiting for you to call. I hope he will he will give us a good uh, um, good argument. Yeah, look at this great book. I make every every time commercial for it because it is full of information and uh, must to have it for everybody that he want to know about Islam. Also, nochmal für euch die die deutschsprachigen. Um, Brüder und Schwestern und auch die anderen, die jetzt nicht im Glauben sind und einfach meinem Kanal folgen. Ich kann euch das Buch nur wärmstens ans Herz äh, legen. Holt euch das, unterstützt den Bruder und studiert ein bisschen äh, den, äh, aus den islamischen Quellen. Er hat sehr viele Informationen hier reingegeben. Das ist ein Buch mit fast, also nicht fast, sondern wie viele Seiten? 366 Seiten pure geballte Information. Also, wenn ihr das wenn die Teil 1, Allahs Täuschung, Allahs Täuschung und dazu dann Teil 2, die, äh, wissenschaftliche Koranwunder unter der Lupe, wenn ihr die beiden Sachen studiert habt, so seid ihr gewappnet in jeder Debatte. So könnt ihr sofort äh, verstehen, was die, worauf die Muslime hinaus wollen und die könnt direkt antworten. Das ist das Gute dabei. Und das sind die Empfehlungen, die ich euch äh, äh, mit auf den Weg gebe, wenn ihr in Zukunft mit Muslimen in Diskussion kommt um da gewappnet zu sein, um den Täuschungen standzuhalten und euch nicht äh, täuschen zu lassen von denen, weil der ganze Islam ist ja auf Täuschung und Lüge aufgebaut und deswegen sind wir ja hier, um diese Täuschung zu behandeln, die ja Muslime über die Jahre und Jahrhunderte äh, fabriziert haben. Ne? Ja, und äh, das Buch hier Sex und Allah habe ich mir auch geholt und bin äh, froh, wenn es endlich auf Deutsch auch zu haben ist, weil das springt wieder alles ich beweise der Bruder, das ist so unfassbar. Ey. Manchmal, ich traue mich gar nicht, diese Sachen hier vorzulesen, weißt du, was ich meine? Aber er, er nennt ja auch die Quellen. Also das sind ja keine Islamhasser-Seiten, von denen er das hat. Das sind ja alles Muslime, die das in ihren Büchern aufgenommen haben. Also das ist noch wieder das Heftigste von allen. Also Leute, holt euch die Bücher von ihm, Allahs Täuschung, äh, wissenschaftliche Koranwunder unter der Lupe. Und äh, denkt nicht, dass ich irgendwie einen Cent oder sowas von ihm bekomme. Das ist alles nur aus Liebe, dass ich das zu ihm mache und ich dankbar bin dafür. Versteht ihr? Denn wir sind nicht zum Verkauf da, denn er ist mein Bruder. Und äh, die Liebe zu ihm ist, äh, weil der Herr Jesus das in unser Herz gelegt hat. Und daran erkennt man, die Jünger des Herrn Jesus, dass sie untereinander Liebe haben. Yes, okay. So, you know, where is the Muslim who wanna call us? What happened? The Muslim who want to call us, like, is he taking an airplane, taking a, a train, taking Al Buraq, the donkey of the Prophet Muhammad? When you are going to call us, here we go. We stop. We did not do anything, waiting for you to call us. And now, until now, you did not call. Why? And then, what, all, all what you do, you call us liars. Why? Liars. Yeah. You know, why? Why Muslims? You call? Okay. Well, what? What is the lie? Like in the same as the hadith you mentioned about uh, this guy, brother Ramazan from. Uh, Germany, Ramazan. I like this Ramazan. You know, he said that we are. This is a big fat lie. Okay, who is the liar there? Let us say. It's a, let us say, for the sake of argument, it is a lie. That means you are Muslims are liars because what you are saying to us that you Muslim lies about your prophet and you say things he did not say. Yes, that mean that mean we can even trust the Muslims. Yeah, but yeah. because they bring it in their books, yeah. not we, uh, not we, we are reading, Islam hatred. Yeah, we are reading from your books what is written, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what is written about your prophet saying so, and then you say this is a lie. So, and who is the one who said that lie? You Muslims. So you Muslims are liars. What we can do? What can I say? So, thank you very much for saying that. So, who in the world can teach us about Islam? Then, if the scars of Islam are a bunch of liars and they say things, is not true? Yes. That means that they each of them contradict him, uh, th themselves. Huh? He said this is true. The others say this is this Al Albani said no, this is not true. And uh, what is the real opinion? Nobody knows. And Allah knows best. Allah knows best. <laughs> the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. I met them in France. You know, they told he told me go to our website, the answer is there. <laughs> <laughs> go to our website, the answer is there. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah. So any Abdul is going to call. 
And by the way, by the way, here about about the shaitan, who his name is the, the white, the way to the white shaitan. The reason he is a white shaitan, by the way, uh, he is not white. He is not white. He changed his color to be white. All right, mm -hmm. and and he come to Muhammad in the image of Jibril. So he he have that name because he can change his himself. To be a white devil, but as an angel, as an angel. Now, if this is a true, then how we can trust Muhammad if he just say to us that the shaitan come to me in the image of Jibreel? How we know that from the beginning Muhammad is not seeing someone, he is a shaitan and he is Jibreel. He just said that your prophet saying that. Mm -hmm. So what is the guarantee that the one Muhammad was seeing from the beginning? It's not the devil as long as the devil he can come in the image of, of, of an angel Are you Muslim? Who, who is the Muslim yeah, explain to us as long shaitan he can come and he, by the way This is al Qurtubi before those who they are saying it's a lie. I Was waiting <laughs> for the Abdul to call but look like they are not going to call anyway this is the mm -hmm. website, uh, uh, Amir. It's in, in the screen. I don't know if you can see it. And yeah, it says, here we go. It, this is yeah. Isla library Islam, library.islam.net. Uh, uh, Tafsir al Qurtubi. Uh, wait, wait, brother, wait. Uh, for all the uh, Deutschsprachigen, um, die jetzt gerade zugucken, wenn ihr Kanäle habt, dann schneidet den Teil jetzt aus, so dass er den, die Referenzen jetzt zeigt, damit die Muslime schön den Mund halten. Ja? Okay, brother. So this is a Jamal al Ahkam al Qurtubi, al Qurtubi, the book of al Qurtubi, the first volume. Do you see the uh, Muslims, the image? All right. Here we go now. It says a problem number 12, or, or a question number 12, or let us say section number 12, page number 74. And then we go down reading until we arrive where it says the following. And I want the Muslim Abdul to read with me, please. وقد قال ابن عباس and ابن عباس said that there is a shaitan is used to be was called al abiyad which means the white he came yeah. to the prophet peace uh, Allah Allah pray on him and salute him in the image of Jibreel <laughs> translate please <laughs> translate to the to the German please Amir okay please um, uh, ابن عباس uh, said <laughs> ابن عباس said that there is a shaitan he was called the white and he came to the prophet Allah pray on him and salute him in the image of Jibreel. Also Ibn Abbas berichtet, dass ein uh, Engel, also in, ein Dämonengel in Form von uh, von einem weißen, also weißen Engel kam, also in Form von Jibreel und dass er um, dem Propheten halt begegnet ist. And then he continues saying, and he throw on him, to him, the, 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 the satanic verses where it says, the, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Also, er, er war das, der uh, den Muhammad die satanischen Verse einflüsterte, dass die Allah al uzam manat uh, anbeten sollen. Okay, so now who is the liar and who is the one misquoting? We just read to you as it is exactly. We did not quote anything, and mm -hmm. this is page number 78 in the volume number one of Al Qurtubi. Ja, er liest doch gerade aus dem Buch von Al Qurtubi vor. Seht ihr das nicht für die Leute, die gerade Arabisch lesen können? Guckt ihr das an, was al kurtubi wieder sagt? Ist der al kurtubi ein Islamhasser? Das ist doch euer Gelehrter, einer der Mufassirun. Was soll das? Was macht die Muslime da? Warum müsst ihr immer wieder lügen und täuschen? To who's lying here? You must have lying about your prophet and Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of Muhammad. Ibn Abbas saying that. Ibn Abbas is a liar. Ibn Abbas, der Cousin von Muhammad, ist er jetzt auch ein Lügner oder was? Kann man denn gar keinen Muslim mehr vertrauen? Gar keine muslimischen Gelehrten oder was? And now we have additional problem. As long the uh, the Muslims agree that Shaitan can come in the image of Jibril. Solange Muslime glauben, dass Satan in Form von Gabriel erscheinen kann, that means Shaitan can do that from the first day of Muhammad being a prophet. Also heißt das, dass der Satan das von Anfang an konnte, als der Muhammad. Uh, sein Prophetentum uh, begann. And 
God knows how many times Shaitan came to Muhammad in the image of Jibreel. <laughs> Und Gott weiß es, wie, wie oft der äh, Dämon zu Muhammad äh, in Engelform kam. And Muhammad, he have no idea. Und Muhammad wusste überhaupt gar nichts. So now how we can find out if Islam is coming from the white Shaitan or from Jibreel, the true Jibreel? Also, wie können wir jetzt herausfinden, ob das jetzt von diesem Dämon ist oder vom wahren Engel? Uh, because, Bruder, yeah. uh, in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, 14, it says that uh, there is no marvel for, uh, for demons or Satan that he can transform himself to an angel of light, you know? You see, uh, uh, I want the Muslim to understand Islam based on their understanding. And based on their religion, so we speaking about the Bible, the Muslim will not understand what you are saying. So I always <laughs> prefer to give Islam to the Muslims in in the basket made of Islam. You know what I mean? Yes. Because yes. if we try to make them uh, uh, to say, okay, the Bible says that, he will say to you, well, I don't believe in the Bible anyway. I mean, this is something for you. Mm -hmm. So let us focus on something he believe in. Okay, you believe Muhammad. Okay. Muhammad received the Quran from an angel. His name is Jibreel. Jibreel obviously is a white guy. That makes sense. I mean, he have to be blonde too. I mean, there is no way he's an African. <laughs> What a stupid religion. <laughs> I mean, why why the angel is a white person? I don't know. I mean, he is the shaitan. Look the shaitan, how evil he is. He was able to change his color like Michael Jackson. And then he became white. And not only that, he was able to make himself look like Jibreel. But hold on, Jibreel have 600 wings. <laughs> and he can cover the horizon so shaitan was able to make himself like jibreel and muhammad wow. did not notice and how shit how shaitan can do that in order for shaitan to make himself an angel that means shaitan is a creator because that means he create a body of jibreel for himself mm -hmm. that means shaitan is god <laughs> what muslims believe i never understand this is so amazing eh? Shaitan is God, obviously, according to the story, because he was able to make someone he cloned. You see, the Muslim they say, Allah, he cloned Jesus. Now we find out that Shaitan can clone Jibreel, which is harder, mm -hmm. which is harder to clone a man or to clone an angel. Obviously, clone the angel. Yes. So Shaitan must be more powerful than Allah. For he was <laughs> able to come as an image of Jibreel. How he can transform his image to be a Jibreel, an angel? An angel of God, and why Allah allow that? So now, what if a uh, uh, how we will know Muhammad was seen who, and how we will trust Muhammad saying I saw Jibril, especially Jibril uh, Muhammad he said that uh, 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 sometime Jibril he come to him in the image of his boyfriend Dahil Kalbi. He could not find like I mean okay what about Jibril he come in the image of somebody from Germany. As an example, Amir, Amir, my friend, I mean, what's wrong with Amir? You know, big muscles, big muscles. You go to the gym. So Jibreel, he can go and come to Muhammad in the image of Amir and he have a beard. Makes sense. But why in the image of the Hilkalbi? The story is very simple. The Hilkalbi was a handsome boy. Obviously, he's a gay. He used to spend all night with Muhammad. And Muhammad now, he want to find an excuse why the Hilkalbi is in home. Why he's leaving late. So he said, When Ibn Abbas, he entered the house, once he found him in, it says, in meditation position. Meditation position, what is that? Muhammad the and Buddhist. Jibreel in one room. What is the meditation position? They don't say. And Ibn Abbas, he said, and then Jibreel, he left right away. And then Ibn Abbas, he said to Muhammad, isn't it this, Dahil Kalbi? Muhammad, he said, who will he look like Dahil Kalbi, but this is Jibreel. <laughs> What meditation position? Is that in the bed? What do you mean meditation? Ibn Abbas was a kid. He entered the house of Muhammad and he found the Hilkalbi and Muhammad in one position. We don't know. That doesn't, I have to be honest, it doesn't say in the story what really the position was. So he found him there and then Muhammad, he says, oh, this is the Hilkalbi. Yes, he looked like, uh, and then later he said to, to, to explain why the Hilkalbi is still uh, always in his house, he said, That Jibreel he come to him in the image of the Hill Kelby. And now we found that Shaitan is Jibreel, and Shaitan in the same time must be the Hill Kelby too. Because if he can clone the angel, he can clone 
Dahir yes. Kalbi. Yes. Do we have any Muslim? He have an objection. Ist irgendein Muslim da, der irgendwas dagegen zu, äh, entgegenzusetzen hat, der uns vielleicht eine andere, <lacht> eine andere Sache erzählen möchte? Vielleicht stimmt das ja nicht, was der Bruder da sagt. Kommt doch gerne rein. Der, ihr seid doch alle so äh, arabisch begabt und äh, könnt arabisch lesen und schreiben und seid doch alle Gelehrte. <lacht> Wo seid ihr denn? Ich verstehe das nicht. Ihr macht alle ein auf Gelehrte, aber niemand kommt, um sich äh, das, also mit dem Bruder mal zu äh, diskutieren. You know the, the funny uh, Amir, the Muslim they say that yes, the Quran said that if Shaitan he throw uh, in, in the, to the Prophet, Allah will take it off. But that's mean. That's mean. Shaitan did a throw off, and Allah will take it off. You just admitted that Allah. He will take off something. What Allah he took off from the Quran? Who is the Muslim? Yeah. Chapter 22, yeah. verse number 52. What did Allah take off? What he took? What Allah took from the Quran? Any Muslim want to tell us? What Allah took I off? say to the Muslim, brother, I say to the Muslim, when the satanic <laughs> verses are not true, what was the verse in which Allah threw out, in which Satan cast into it? And not only that, how what is our guarantee that this verse itself is not made by shaitan to make us relax that don't worry i, I will take it off <laughs> exactly you know if shaitan was able to cast once that means he can cast twice if he cast twice he can cast three times if he can cast three times he can cast fourth time fifth time and not only the, the verse by the way the verse confirm that shaitan cast in in the mouth of all the prophets not only muhammad mm -hmm. And how this happened? Isn't it Muhammad? He said that Allah He told him that you have no authority over my follower except those who follow thee. Yes, brother, uh, make the German translation open that uh, everybody can see it. Okay, I will switch and give me a second. Mm. In the Quran, let us go first to this uh, Al Hajj. I will make it in German. I don't know if the German translation is good or not, but you know. Okay, okay it's the same. The funny they accuse me that I speak German by the way I'm, but I'm hiding my <laughs> ability by the way. this guy by the way, you are this guy Ramazan he keeps saying this guy he speaks German he's a liar he speaks German <laughs> Ramadan yeah here in this chapter here uh, okay the uh, chapter 7 verse 1 to 175 but this is not the one I want and then mm -hmm. here chapter 15 verse number 42 I will open it in German because I know what it's mean in English and in Arabic. It says that none of those who follow you except those who they are bad, the 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 the, the filthy, the disgusting. Mm -hmm. So if Shaitan was able to control Muhammad, and the Quran said that, 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 that mean Muhammad was one of the people who, who was astray. <laughs> Yeah, Muhammad, he have to be from those who follow Shaitan, because it says clearly, you know, it says here, Illa man min al except those who follow you, they follow you, not you deceive them. No, those who not follow you, those who, yeah, those who follow you, and from the bad ones, from the disgusting, from the criminals. So, in order for Muhammad to be deceived, he had to follow Shaitan, not Shaitan deceiving him. And he have to be one of the followers of Shaitan because he like it. Mm -hmm. So how Shaitan was able to throw in the mouth of Muhammad? Wow. Hmm? And and even a Jew had power over him. Huh? He made him uh, magic ma magic on him. Huh? Yeah, this guy is his name is Lubaid al Asam. By the way, I know him uh, uh, personally because the Muslim they will <laughs> accuse me one day. I am the one who sent him to the Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> And I will not be surprised if they say that a Christian prince he fabricate this story and he fabricate this verse on the Quran. Just wait. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Is a Muslim here that anrufen möchte und uns das erklären will, warum uh, Muhammad Satan satanische Verse bekam, obwohl auch der Koran sagt, gewiss über meine Diener hast du keine Macht, außer wer dir von den verirrten folgt. Das heißt, Muhammad war ja einer von den verirrten. Satan hat ja Macht über ihn, denn der Allah sagt. Ich werde die Sachen raus tun, die Satan einstreute. Deswegen habe ich euch Muslime hier gefragt, was waren denn die Verse, die Satan einstreute, die Allah zunichte macht? Es gibt keine Antwort von euch, das war's. 
Der Islam ist entlarvt, versteht ihr das nicht? Mohammed hat satanische Verse bekommen und ist somit kein Prophet laut den Kriterien von Allah sogar. Look at versteht this, uh... ihr das nicht? Ihr, ihr, seid, ihr geht so schrecklich mit eurer Seele um, das ist, das, ich könnte weinen. Ich weiß nicht, was ich noch dazu sagen soll. Amir, ihr look, look at einen, Men, einen Propheten, der sich anmaßt, ein Prophet zu sein, der unter voller Kontrolle von schwarzer Magie war und Satan in äh, satanische Verse in, unter die Zunge war. Das ist eine Riesenkatastrophe. Ist. Amir, look at this hadith in front of us. Okay. Aisha, she is saying, once the prophet was bewitched, if I say to a Muslim, you are following a bewitched prophet, he would be offended, right? Mm -hmm. How a prophet can be witched? Bewitched. We just saw the Quran saying, that Quran, the shaitan have no authority over anyone except the one who follow thee. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a person who follows shaitan in order to, for this to happen to you. So how Muhammad is a prophet of God, protected by God, God saying shaitan cannot have authority over you unless you follow shaitan. All of this is proven to us that Muhammad is a person who is following shaitan. Now, yes. Who is going to explain to us how Muhammad was bewitched? I want to hear from a Muslim explain to us how this happened. A prophet of God being bewitched. What does that mean exactly? Who is the Muslim? Who is the mm -hmm. hero? Anyone? Come. Is jemand here der gerne um, live anrufen möchte? Ihr könnt den Bruder ja korrigieren. Es kann doch nicht sein, dass ihr euch nicht traut. Ja, es muss doch möglich sein, eine normale Konversation zu führen und eure Argumente zu, hervorzubringen. Ist doch nicht schlimm, mein Gott, wenn, wenn, wenn ihr die Wahrheit doch bei euch habt, dann dürft ihr doch nichts dazwischen kommen. Man, man. Anyone? And you notice with me, uh, in this story here, that Muhammad, he was imagining things like if you if you go to Hadith, it says that the prophet he imagined himself having sex but in fact he never did and then that explain mm -hmm. why muhammad is a mad person he says stupid things as an example look at this my uncle asked allah apostle about a person he imagined to have passed wind during the prayer i mean look at the question and look at the answer a person asking okay i'm praying and i imagined myself farting then Allah Apostle replied, look, Allah Apostle did not say this is silly, this is stupid, don't speak stupid to me. No, no, no. He said he should not leave his prayer unless he hears sounds or smells something. Like, what the heck? <laughs> is that an answer of a prophet of God? Or this is a prophet, a consultant of 14? Wow. And why... Let us say for the sake of argument somebody is sick somebody ate too much beans and he farted Is the mm. prayer is the prayer will go to Allah delivered with the smell? I mean is Allah listening to your prayer? What is from your heart or it is something happened to you because of a natural uh, your natural body? I mean uh, farting is not something. I mean uh, uh, Yes, the smell is disgusting, but this is God. I mean his God is he's going to be affected by the smell of the fart you think Yes, 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 yes. It seems so. Isn't it Allah? He made the human being fart. What is that about? And if he farted and he smelled, what he will do then? There's there's thousands of sheikhs in the internet speaking about if you farted during the prayer, what you should do. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? There's a lot of important more questions we need to be busy about, <laughs> not about farting. And then. Muhammad, he say, and I'm just trying to explain why Muhammad cannot be a prophet because look, he says stupid things. What about Shaitan fart when he hear the prayer? I mean, what kind of a prophet he say that? Where Muhammad he get mm -hmm. this? Maybe he's imagining that this is happening. Shaitan mm -hmm. fart. Mm -hmm. you know? The Muslims say no, this is uh, metaphorical, not. Uh, <laughs> ah, not this is a metaphorical farting. Aha! <laughs> I like that. Uh, this has happened only in Islam that even farting have a metaphorical meaning. What metaphorical? It says when his shaitan hears the call of the prayer, he turned back his back and break winds 
Where is metaphorical? Okay, what is the metaphorical of a breaking wings? I, I want a Muslim wind. I want a Muslim to give me the metaphorical of this. What is the metaphorical of a breaking wings and farting? Who is the Muslim scholar would help us? <laughs> this is shaitan. <laughs> Sorry, that's not me. This is shaitan. Sorry, guys. I just said Allahu Akbar, Shaitan. He cannot he cannot listen to this, so he starts farting. What is this? This is a prophet of God talking, or this, 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 this guy is talking. This guy obviously speaking to a bunch of poor, naive people who whatever he say, they believe in it. Shaitan play with your anus, shaitan can so go inside your butt, shaitan bite your penis, shaitan wrap himself around around your penis, shaitan do your wife if you don't say inshallah or May Allah protect us before sex. Shaitan, he play with the, you know, there's, there's a there's a there's a story of a, if you read my book, there is a story of a guy. He wanna he wanna uh, uh, like he wanna confirm that the prophet telling the truth. He said, I entered to the bedroom of my wife and I found fire in her vagina, literally fire. <laughs> but that, why? Because Shaitan having sex with her. Because remember, Shaitan is made from fire, so the bushes there is burning. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> they love in the Muslim they lie just to confirm a lie of their prophet just to you know lie confirming you see this is the thing about Muslims if you lie to confirm Muhammad lies no Muslim com complain do you really mm. Muslim believe that this guy he entered the bedroom and he found a fire over his wife bushes do you really believe in this do you really believe that shaitan have sex with your wife if you don't have if you don't say a certain prayer with her well, based on this, Muhammad mother herself, she had shaitan having sex with her because Muhammad father is not a believer. And he did, mm -hmm. not, he did not say that a prayer. That means shaitan is the father of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Because because uh, Muhammad said, when you have sex when you have uh, sex with your wife, you still have to say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Huh? No, you have to say, uh, no. This is in, if you want to have kids, like what happened with David. Suppose David, he have sex with 99 women, but he forgot to say, inshallah. So Allah gave him <laughs> half a child. Look at this story, how silly. But Muhammad, he said, before you have intercourse, you have to say, Allahumma jannibna. Let, let, me, uh, let me get you the hadith. Jannibna uh, shaitan. Here we go. The Prophet said, if any of you intend to have inter sexual intercourse with his wives, he should say, Bismillah, alhamdulillah, jannibna shaytana wa jannib shaytana ma razaktana. Allahu Akbar, in the name of Allah. Oh Allah, <laughs> keep us away from shaytan and keep shaytan away from what you have bestowed upon us. And if he, if Allah has or denied the child, then shaytan will never harm them. What does that mean? If you don't say that, Shaitan will wrap himself around you. You can get my book, read it, read it. I have all the reference there. In, 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 in the book, it's called Sex and Allah. If you don't do say this prayer, Shaitan, he will wrap himself around the penis of the man because he forgot to pray. And then he will be the one doing the wife. And then the wife, she will get pregnant from Shaitan. And according to many hadith, in, as we showed you in the reference there, it says that if a, if a, if a child, he have a cross eyes, obviously because the man, he did not say this prayer. <laughs> what a joke <laughs> this is a prophet of God talking my friend do you really imagine the wife now Abdul is getting married he have 13 wives like Muhammad and now this is the number wife number 14 the wife she take off her clothes she is go so excited the prophet now is coming inside the bedroom the prophet take off his panty he take off his bra he's going to jump in the bed the women she shave her mustache he, she she comb her beard and now it's time to have sex. And now time Muhammad starts saying, <laughs> Like, what the heck? Come on, man. I'm waiting for you. By the time Muhammad Abdul, he finished the prayers, the, the wife, she will be sleeping, snoring. What this is about? <laughs> and if you say that prayer, is that a kingdom? Is that the kingdom of Allah? Religious kingdom? Because according to this, if you don't say that prayer, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. Now, who is a Muslim will say this is a lie? Shaitan it doesn't say anywhere such a thing. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? You want to challenge me that this is what your books teach.
that shaitan he will round himself around the penis of the Muslim man. Anyone? Any Abdul? <laughs> Any Abdul? <laughs> Any Abdul? Sometimes I feel like uh, I feel like I am an auction. You know, like any one uh, uh, they say like uh, one, two, three. Like uh, okay, sold. Any Abdul? Who is the Abdul? Want to prove me wrong? That this is, doesn't say that, brother. This is a joke, or or is that true? No, this is not, not a joke. I don't joke. You see, here we go. Look. This is the book of Fath al-Bari fi Sharh Sahih al-Bukhari. The Abdul, stupid Abdul, like Ramadan, he will say to you, where in Sahih al-Bukhari it says that Abdul. This is the, the book is not, this is a book explaining Sahih al-Bukhari. It's called Fath al-Bari, not Sahih al-Bukhari. The same as the hate we mentioned before. Sahih al-Bukhari, I look for the hadith, did not find it, Sahih al-Bukhari. Abdul, read the verse, read, read, read the title. Anyway, so Fath al-Bari fi Sahih al-Bukhari, it says, this is the book, and this is your Islamic website, the book of Nikah, the book of Ifin, the F, hmm? Hadith number 4870. And then here he mentioned the story about you say this prayer. Now then he continue. If we go down, it says, <clears throat> uh, all right. Here we go. In the same page, actually page number one, 137, page 137, if we go down here, it says, read with me Muslims, let me zoom actually more, zoom in, I hope it's clear for everybody. In the way that the one who does intercourse, have sex with his wife, and he don't say that prayer, shaitan will round himself around his penis, and he will do his wife with him. <laughs> now, I'm lying. Here we go. It's in front of you. Is that me lying? Muslims, Abdul, is that me lying, or this is you? No way. No way. Muslim, is that... Ist das an was ihr glaubt, der bitte sagt, sagt mir die Wahrheit? Ist das nicht der absolute Wahnsinn, was ich jemals gehört habe? Also, wenn ihr nicht diesen, dieses, diesen, dieses, dieses Gebet vor dem Sex sagt, so wickelt sich der Satan um, um den Penis des Mannes und hat quasi ein Dreier mit euch, oder? Das ist, das ist nicht euer Ernst, oder? This is the Islamic Kingdom. Allah is the first kingdom ever in the history. He is, his name is a kingdom. You say the name of Allah, right away you get a kingdom. I mean, why you wanna why you wanna have kingdom before you have sex? Are you afraid of from AIDS? Just say the name of Allah. That's it. You know, AIDS will never happen to you. Here we go. Shaitan cannot even get a close. Who who is more powerful? A virus? It's called the 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 AIDS or Shaitan? Obviously Shaitan. Shaitan, yes. Yeah. Guys, uh, Amir disappeared. I think I think uh, Jabril, the white Jabril, took him. Oh, he's there. Yeah. So we don't say we don't say things from our own. And I like it when the Muslim they say we are lying because that means you Muslims lie about their prophet. Brother, brother <laughs> yeah. who is the one who, who explained Fatal Bari? Uh, is that Ibn Al Asqalani? Al Asqalani, yes. This is Al Asqalani. Ahmad Ibn Ali bin Hajar Al Asqalani, yes, yes. And this, uh, this is not only reported in one place, this is reported everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm just quoting one reference of many. You see, uh, those references can be found in many, many books. Uh, uh, it's not only in one place. This is not, this is not really... The, the reference, we, we quote it just to prove that we are not making things up. Otherwise, we can find the same reference in many, many uh, uh, places, you know? So... Uh, uh, so we are not just quoting and we are not saying this is the only book to speak about that I can give you tons of reference but one is enough you know it's just to confirm what we are talking about and if a Muslim he want to go and find it out he can go and find it out but trust me the Muslim they knew what I'm talking about you know because there is many Muslim mm -hmm. smart Muslims they talk about those things in their in their in, uh, in their mosque and etc you know they are not really hiding it any Muslim he have uh, any comment? <laughs> uh, 
Falls ihr Facebook habt, äh, Leute, die jetzt gerade auch in Deutschland äh, einschalten, teilt bitte den Livestream, sodass andere auch aufmerksam werden, äh, dass andere auch darauf aufmerksam werden, sodass es noch mehr Leute sehen. Weil es ist sehr, sehr wichtig, was der Bruder hier zu, äh, zeigt, zeigt, uns zeigt. Weil es kann ja nicht angehen, was die Muslime glauben. Viele Muslime wissen ja gar nicht, dass sich so ein Blödsinn da drinnen befindet. Und verspielen somit ihre kostbare Seele. Für sowas werfen die ihre Seele weg. Das ist unfassbar. Amir, I just found, this is different interpretation. It says that all the gays are from such a thing. Like if somebody is a gay, simply his father, he forgot to say this prayer before he have sex <coughs> with his wife. Look, read with me. And Ibn Abbas... <coughs> Okay, read, guys, read. I'm not saying anything. Okay, it says here. Uh, all right. Uh, according to it's reported by Mujahid that the one here you see the one before it was Ibn Abbas now Mujahid that the one who do, who have sex and he don't say the name of Allah which means the prayer, Shaitan is going to round himself around his penis with him, and it's according to at Tartushi. In the book of at tahrim or let's say the chapter of at tahrim tahrim al-Fawahish, uh, the, the forbidden of uh, uh, Fawahish, like uh, the bad things, you know, bad sin. Uh, it says, "Yakunu al-Mukhannathu bisadihi." The one, the, the, this is what caused, uh, this is what caused somebody to be a gay by this proof. And Ibn Abbas he said, "Al-Mukhannathu nu awlad al-Jin." The, the Ibn Abbas he said the gays are the, the sons of the genie and they said to him how is that he said that Allah uh, 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 the Almighty and his a prophet they forbid the man to do sex with his wife when she have her period so if he do the shaitan for, uh, go forward before him and he do bang bang to her and then the son will be a gay and this is the reference in the front of you. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Any Abdul? Any Abdul? Oh, man. This is a joke. This is a joke. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, you see, we do not need to study really why somebody is a gay. This is now the proof. Here we go. And all those books, this is a website, many websites <laughs> saying the same thing. You see? Al Shamila Islam Port. All those websites, you know, even an audio. Look, an audio. They are talking about how the gays are are formatted, or the the how how they are created. Simply according to Muhammad and his intelligence and his followers, Shaitan, if he have sex with a woman when she without making a prayer, or if she have her period. But by the way, Muhammad he used to molest Aisha when she have her period. The hadith says she used to put a sheet. He ordered her to put a sheet. So here we go. This is the reference. And this is a different book. It's called Akamul Murjan Fi Ahkam Jan to Imam al Shalabi. I don't know how to wow. translate this. Akamul Murjan Fi Ahkam Jan. The hills of Murjan, of, of the rules of Jan. This guy is a specialist. He is a Muslim cleric scholar. His specialty is genie. And now he is telling okay. us how, how the genie. He makes sex with with Mama, with and and Baba, and that will make somebody. His name is Lulu, a gay. <laughs> Are we lying, Muslims? And here we go. This is Islamport.com. You see the reference? We're well, not making things up, my friend. Perfect. Who says that, brother? Many of them. You know, we are quoting many. It's not only one. It's like it's not just uh, one person. You know, we are just quoting many reference that to show, uh, uh, yeah, like here, this one, the one who said that is supposed to Ibn Abbas, according to a Tartushi. Tartushi, okay. Yeah. Is that the Imam? Tartushi is yeah a big scholar. You know, he uh, he explained the Quran too. You know, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. He Tartush. I I don't think his name is Tartushi, but Muslims always they they, they pronounce the names wrongly. I think I think this guy is from Tartuz, which is uh, uh, in, the, in, in, in the old Turkish name for a city there. So they don't know how to call the name, so they call him in funny names. The same as they okay. call the same as they call uh, 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 Paul. They call him Bulos. Bulos, yes, Paul. Yeah. 
and uh, and John they call him Yahya. All the names are like, yeah. they are weird names, you know. I don't know where they are coming from. Mm -hmm. So, do we have any Muslim have an objection? Anyone? Hmm? Ist hier ein Muslim im Raum, der uns das erklären möchte, warum Satan sich <lacht> um den Penis des Mannes wickelt, wenn äh, die Muslime nicht vor dem Sex äh, halt dieses Gebet sagen? Das ist doch nicht der, das ist nicht euer Ernst, Leute, kommen halt auf mit dem Unsinn. Der Islam ist nicht von Gott. Seht ihr das denn nicht? Ich meine, wie viele Beweise muss man euch denn noch liefern, dass das doch von vorne bis hinten eine betrügerische Religion ist? Das ist doch das sind doch Geschichten, die einfach nur erfunden worden sind, wie tausend und eine Nacht. Das kann doch nicht wahr sein, dass irgendjemand an sowas glaubt. Wollt ihr wirklich eure Seele aufs Spiel setzen und dem folgen? Mann, Mann, Mann. You know, uh, obviously Muhammad is an expert in those things and Allah, he gave him a lot of information, unlimited. Uh, now, still I'm waiting for a Muslim to give us a call and I will not ask you about anything we mentioned before. You tell us something good about Muhammad, either about Muhammad or about Islam. We want to do that. Yes. Who is the Muslim is willing to call us and tell us something good about Islam? Something will make us believe Islam is coming from God. Forget okay. about Welcher Islam. Muslim is bereit, den Bruder Sikhi anzurufen und etwas Gutes über den Islam zu sagen und den Propheten Muhammad? Wenn das doch deine Religion ist, dann kannst du doch gerne doch anrufen und uns doch mal beweisen, dass der Islam die Wahrheit ist. Die Leute, die Dauer machen, verstehe ich nicht. Wo sind die denn? Hier sind doch genügend Christen. Warum ruft denn niemand an und will uns denn überzeugen davon? Any Abdul? No Abdul. Okay, I don't know what to do. I mean, I do my best to 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 provide Abdul with all the reference. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when I when I was. Uh, 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 like I used to do a pal talk or a chat rooms a Muslim they accuse me. I'm giving them red dot. Okay here. There's no red dot There's no red dot here. Nobody can give you a red dot call us Show us exactly. as an example, you know as an example just to give you an idea about the topic We can talk about the Muslim they say in the Quran. There is a scientific miracle What do you think Amir? There's a scientific miracle, right? The Quran is full of miracles and science who is the Muslim wanna call us and show us one scientific miracle in the Quran. Who want to do that? Just one. Of your yes. choice. Any Abdul? Any one of your ihr choice. Kommt, <coughs> ja, also ihr kommt doch immer mit wissenschaftlichen Wunder. Ist jemand hier von den Muslimen, der uns davon überzeugen möchte? Mit der Embryologie, mit der runden Erde oder äh, wo, wo das Sperma herkommt und so. Also ne, der, der Islam oder der Koran sagt doch irgendwas über Wissenschaft. <lacht> und ihr seid doch voll davon überzeugt. Wo, wo, wo seid ihr denn, um uns das zu erklären? You know, Wir I, möchten das gerne. I discover myself a miracle in the Quran. Uh, as an example, Muhammad, he was explaining why the birds are not feeling down. Anyone knows why the birds don't feel down according to Islam? Any Muslim knows? Who knows? Who is the Muslim who knows why the birds are not feeling down? Abdul, who is Abdul? Would like to... According to the Quran, the birds don't feel down when they are flying because Allah is holding them. Is that true? Anyone? Anyone? No one is here. They are scared, brother. They are too scared. I mean, this is science. How Muhammad he knew that? That the birds are not feeling down because shaitan, because Allah is holding the bird from feeling down. I thought because the I, I, for me, because I'm naive, I thought maybe because the bird is using his wings. But no, Muhammad, he have a better idea. It's Allah who is holding them from falling down. This is science. And he must them agree with that. Hmm? Chapter 16, verse number 79. Let us go to the German. Do you see it, uh, Amir? 
is it appearing for you in the in the German? Yes, but it's a little bit. Um, yes, now it's coming. Now I see. It. Read it in German, please. Uh, Seventy-nine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, let me go back here. Okay. Okay. Put put my uh, video a little bit on uh, down. Yeah, I did. Okay. Haben Sie nicht haben Sie nicht auf die Vögel gesehen, die im Luftraum des Himmels dienstbar gemacht worden sind? Nur Allah hält sie oben. Darin sind wahrlich Zeichen für Leute, die glauben. Allah hold it there See? up. And what is holding the F-16 from falling down? Allah. Who is holding the Jumbo 777 from falling down? Allah. Who is holding my balloon outside from falling down? <laughs> Allah. I mean, this is this is a prophet of God, and this is God talking. God is saying that He is the one is holding the birds from falling down. How? <laughs> Isn't it? This is a science. I mean, this is a, uh, who is holding the 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 what it's called the the uh, the spy. Uh, uh, airplane for the American the AWAX who is holding the AWAX Allah who is holding the satellites Allah who is holding all the military spying CIA Mossad agents uh, spying satellite Allah brother Allah is working for the Jews the Jews <laughs> the same satellite and they say Allah hold it for us there and Allah he hold it I mean this is God this is a this is a very clear science you know this is a very clear science. Mm -hmm. Any Abdul have any comment? No comment. See, you don't show us. You don't want to show us a miracle. You don't want to show us anything. You don't want to call us. And after we finish our program and we close, you will see Muslims in the text saying cowards. They don't know what they are <laughs> talking about. They are liars. Yeah. They have nothing to say. Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Subhanallah, you know, Alhamdulillah. What they what what the Alhamdulillah mean? They know, but okay, you know what? Let me show you something very silly from the beginning of the Quran. This is why I'm, I'm very sure that Quran is a joke. How Allah in the Quran you say Alhamdulillah? <laughs> Any Muslim want to tell us? Chapter, look, chapter one, verse number two. Allah, he say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Allah saying to Allah, praise be to Allah. Thank you, Allah. <laughs> How? al fatiha is not from God. Eh? It's a prayer from, uh, from a Muslim. Muhammad, he was trying to copy the Christian prayer, the Christian they have, our father out of heaven. So, but, but, mm. but, but that makes sense because there, they said to Jesus, how he pray? He said, say like that. Here, Muhammad, he forgot to say that Allah told him to say like that. So now we have a problem. Allah, he says, in the name of Allah. <laughs> in the name of Allah. Who are you? Hey, Muslims, who is the one is talking there? Allah. Allah say in the name of Allah. And then he repeat the same thing again. Didn't he say that exactly here? Is that correct? Do you see what with me, uh, uh, Amir? Isn't it the same yes, sentence okay. here? Is exactly the same sentence here? So why he's repeating it? Already you said that. Because it's, mm -hmm. he have nothing to say. You see, when, <laughs> when somebody have nothing to say, he repeat the same words. He have nothing to say. He's just trying to make a story. So, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil Alameen, Bismillah. He repeat again, again. Why? Because he have nothing to say. And then he says, guide us this straight way. Like, what guide us straight way? And then he says. And please, Allah, don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. You Muslims praying not to be like the Jews. The Jews are the most rich people in the world. Please, Allah, don't make, don't make, don't make us the lost Christians. And don't make us the regular lost Jews. Allah, please, 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 please. What, 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 uh, you know, what, what's wrong with you? I mean, this is a prayer. Pray to God about guiding you. What do you mean don't make us like them? Allah, what is that? Are you saying that Allah He made us like Allah made us like this? Yes. You see the prayer here proving to us something stupid in Islam. 
because if you are mm -hmm. saying don't make us the same as the, the the lost Christians and the cursed Jews that mean Allah is the one who made us lost so why he will punish us for he's making us lost he made us mm -hmm. lost and then he will punish us <laughs> any Abdul Some, somebody's saying it's a prayer uh, who cares if it's a prayer yeah. or not how Allah he says such a prayer my friend you see the Quran in many places when Allah want to say to Muhammad say he say say he did not say say mm -hmm. so how this cannot be can be a prayer you see call if we type the word call huh, you will see that Allah he told Muhammad when he did he need to say to him say he said to him say all right call it's all over the Quran so why Muhammad did not say that call Falama Falima Takturuna and Bia Allah him in Kabul in Kuntum Minin. And by the way, I just pick up just to answer you about call. I found a mistake. Who is the one who is the Jews who used to kill prophets before? And what is their names? Any Muslim? The Quran says that the Jews they killed the prophet before. I want the Muslims to tell us the names of the prophet, the Jews they killed. I will give you names. Saddam Hussein. Is Saddam Hussein one of them? Any Muslim? Who is the prophet, the Jews they killed, according to Islam? I thought Jesus was saved. Okay, who is this? Who is the prophet was killed? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Didn't know. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? So if I want to ask somebody now, CP is not able to understand Arabic. I don't understand Arabic. I don't understand English. I am a German. Who cares? Answer me. I don't care. I don't I don't understand anything. I want I want the Ramadan to answer me. In the Quran, <laughs> in the Quran. You see, I am. You can say whatever you want to say about me. Attacking me personally will help you in no way. People yes. they knew. People they knew right away who is saying the truth and who is silly and who is stupid. I have no time to mm -hmm. answer this idiot. Here, when when the Quran said that the Jews they killed a bunch of prophets, and if I ask a Jew who is the prophets the Jews they killed, who is a Muslim going to give me the answers? Who are the, those Jews? Who are the, those prophets? Any Muslim can tell us? Name them for me. Okay, the Quran says that some of them you 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 kill, some of them you whatever you hurt, whatever. Okay, who is the who is the prophets was killed by the Jews? Any Muslim can tell us? Saddam Hussein, I don't think so. He's, he was not a prophet yet. The Muslim, they will make him prophet later. What about al kazafi al kazafi it's possible. What do you think, Muslims? Who is the prophet was killed by the Jews? Not one. It says, you know, it says some of them. Some. You killed some. And when we say some, at least three and more. So who are they, the three and more? Prophets of God was killed by the Jews. Who is the smart Abdul, cute Abdul, want to give us a call and tell us the names of the prophet was killed by the Jews? Mm -hmm. Who is the smart like Abdul, want to call us? No, no, you do not need to. Uh, here we go. I, I will put it for you in German, my friend. The one who don't need the... Uh, okay, I will put it for you in German. Do you see it? It says that. You see it? It says that a, a bunch of uh, uh, prophets, the, the Jews, they killed. The Quran saying that. Okay, who are they, those prophets? Name them for me. Musa's? Abraham? Who? Any Abdul? Jesus? I want to know who is... The, because here it says they killed, not they tried to kill. They killed. They slaughtered. They slayed. Who are they? Hmm. What did the Mufassirun say about this uh, verse? Allah knows best. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the brother, the Tafsir, what, what the Tafsir say about this verse? I just told you Allah knows best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You read, the tafsir, you read the Tafsir for 10 hours, you get with no answer anyway. So let us let us make it short. Allah knows best.
What about the Muslim? What about the Muslim? He called us. You see, I don't know in German what it says. Does it say in German? And some of them you slay. Does it say? Some of them you slay. Yes. Okay. When we say some, it's mean three and more. You know. Yes. In Arabic, is the same. So, uh, so at least it's going to be three messengers or prophets was killed by the Jews. Who is the brave Muslim can count and name them for us? Who are they? The messengers of Allah, who Allah He sent them to the Jews and the Jews killed them. Trump is still alive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obama is still alive. Who else has a cannibal iftirad? Look, look at this. Uh, uh, Abdul, he's saying this is he is uh, he is saying uh, if you kill, it doesn't say that, my friend. It says Fariqan taqtul. You know, read with me carefully. Uh, uh, the, the, the person who speak Arabic supposedly. Fariqan kathabu wa Fariqan yaktulun. And a team of them they kill. So some of them you killed, and some of them you accuse of lie. This is not suggesting that maybe it happened. It happened in the past. It says in the it's my friend, it says this is in the past. Kullama jaa home in the past. Each time a messenger mm -hmm. come to them with what they don't like, huh? In their heart, some of them they kill, and some of them they, they accuse of a lie. So this is about the past. It already happened, not suggesting mm -hmm. that it might happen. And Allah suggesting it might happen, that means he's a liar. Because after Muhammad, there's no prophets. Remember, this is where this is about Muhammad receiving the chapter. Muhammad is the one who received this chapter. So, what do you mean he suggests? Who is the prophet the Jews they killed? Name three at least for me. Who is the Muslim going to do that? Hmm. No, Abdul. Anyone? If we go to the interpretation, and this is why I don't like really to read the interpretation because the interpretation tell you nothing. Mm. You know, you read all the interpretation, you end with nothing. You waste your time. You read nothing. You come with nothing. There is no conclusion. If we read all the interpretation, who are the Jews, the, the prophet, or what they confirm that the Jews, they killed prophets, who are they? Any Muslim? Here we go. This is Tafsir Al-Jalalain. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. This is Tafsir Al-Jalalain, Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Sha'rawi. I mean, you name it. Huh? Tafsir Khawatim Mutwal al-Sha'ra. Who is the Jews prophets who were, were killed? They didn't know. <laughs> Any Muslim? All your interpretation, they come with no answer. Anyone? Read with me carefully. This is Tafsir who? Al Qurtubi. The one who said they are suggesting that it might happen. Read with me carefully. وقيل أرادوا فريقا كذبوا وفريقا قتلوا قتلوا. Some they accuse of lie in the past, and some they killed already. Do you see it? They killed in the past. So don't tell me suggest. Which one? The Muslims are confused. Nani Abdul. Brother, they are very scared about your knowledge, you know, because you are an Arab Christian who can uh, read Arabic and understand everything. My friend, I do no? not know Arabic. I do not know Arabic. I am. I speak. Uh, I'm, I'm from Pakistan. Brother, <laughs> a Christian person asked me a question. How Allah He said in the Quran that the dude prophet will kill. First of all, the dude they can kill the prophet without even making it look like it that they killed. They killed him by car accident. You see in the news that he was killed by a car accident, but the fact they killed him, and this is very well known. <laughs> Other example, I know a cat was killed by the dude, the Mossad. This cat was a decent Muslim cat was going to do had, and the dude they killed her by making her eating cheese, and the teeth was poison. The same I did it to the Prophet. Until now, many people they think the Prophet did not die by poison, but the fact it was poison, and who was the one who bought the poison? It was the dude. Thank you very much.
Isn't it the Jews who killed the Prophet Muhammad by the poison? Are you going to say I'm lying to? Brother, brother, mm. who, who killed Muhammad? What was it Aisha or Safiya? No, the Shia the accuse Aisha and Safiya, both of them they put poison for the Prophet of Islam. But the hadith of Muhammad, according to Aisha, saying that it was the food he ate uh, in Khaybar is the one who caused him to die by poison. You know, mm -hmm. This is the hadith in front of us, which the Muslims cannot deny. And if the Muslim, they would say that the prophet here was wrong, that's mean Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Because, yes. because the hadith says, and the Quran confirmed, that he don't speak of his own desire. Everything he say is coming from Allah. Okay. Everything he say, it's inspiration from Allah. The Prophet said in his element of death, which he died, Aisha saying, used to say, Oh Aisha, I feel the pain which, uh, uh, I, I feel I feel the, the pain caused by the food which I ate at Khaybar. Okay. So, Muhammad confirming how he died and the death was by the food which he ate in Khaybar and he said I ate at Khaybar and at, the, at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off cut uh, from that poison so Muhammad here even mentioned the word poison to confirm how he died he died by poison and I challenged a Muslim to call us and say Muhammad here was wrong he's a liar <laughs> Who want to do that? Any Abdul? Ah, uh, somebody's saying, look, let me show you what this guy's saying. He's a Muslim. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like I like to show you what this uh, this gentleman he's saying. You see, we are trying to share with you guys. What the Muslims, uh, what Muslims thought about, because they are not calling. So what we can do? I mean, we have to share the text. Look what this gentleman he said. It says feel as not that it's actually happened. Uh, uh, do you suffer from basic comprehension skills? Yes, I suffer from basic comprehension skills, and I need the angel to squeeze me three times in order to be activated, my friend. Now let us see. <laughs> let us see who is the one is suffering from comprehension skills. Muhammad is dying here. He is not suffering from gas. And you are telling me, I, I feel as. And you are saying he is not confirming. He is dying. It says here he died. What goes dead? What goes dead? I want to tell you. Obviously, Muhammad is saying, I, and he, it says, I, he used to say, used, which means he repeat the same thing. Okay, read carefully with me, Abdul. May Allah bless you, brother. The prophet in his element which he died. This is he's dying. The poor guy is dying, dying. He's not having gas. This is death. Exactly. And then he exactly. used to say, not once, not twice, used to say, used. Do you know what used to say? Like, <laughs> uh, the poison is killing me. Uh, the poison is killing me. It's getting my orta. I feel it's getting my orta. The poison, the poison, the poison. But there's no poison. Are you saying that your prophet is crazy? And he is saying as if it is, but it's not. Hold on. Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food. I still, which means since he ate the poison, he have the pain. But now I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off. Abdul, if his orta cut off, he should be dead already. Abdul, what do you mean? If he, brother, he is saying as if. For sure it's as if, because if it cut off, he will not be speaking. He will be dead. Unbelievable. I mean, what? And they say, I, I love intelligence. For sure it is as if, because if it is cut off already, for sure he is going to be dead. Have you ever heard of somebody can live after we cut his orta? No one. So for sure his orta is not caught yet. He's saying as somebody is cutting right now, is cutting. So I love mm -hmm. your intelligent. Actually, I'm going to make you an assistant for me in the future when I go to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we invite your Morgan for a debate. <laughs> maybe he can go with us and we can go to the tower, which we could not get in because it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is the benefit of being poor I feel not yes. actually happen Abdul for sure it not happen at this moment he's dying he's not dead yet what's wrong with you and are you accusing that your prophet was wrong say it I want you to say my prophet was wrong it's not what is happening say it say it I challenge you to say my prophet was wrong this is not what was happening is that fair guys or what I am saying yeah. to this Abdul I challenge you to say that my prophet was wrong this is not what actually was happening say it say it this because this is what you are saying you are accusing your prophet to be a liar say he don't mean it he's a stupid this is not what happened say it you don't dare don't you Muhammad when he said when he said that he was wrong say he was wrong because obviously his order is not cut off yet say it brother then yeah, that mean this poison was so affected to him that this uh, he was very pain uh, he has a very painful death you know he was suffering from, from the poison huh? <clears throat> but you know as I know I saw a study that if you kill rats with poison that is the most merciful death uh, because uh, you know it's it's tasty they they make a, he oh, he ate a goat so the goat must be tasty and at least he enjoyed the goat at the moment for sure it's very very painful and the Muslim look how painful it is the answer he wasn't wrong he said he felt as guys he wasn't wrong he felt as so he felt wrong <laughs> or he felt right let us see who is the stupid here Abdul he felt right or he felt wrong don't play with the answer I want you to tell me when he felt as he felt wrong or he felt right give me the answer give me the answer I'm waiting here we go I'm going I'm going to put your I'm going to put the screen at your text here we go I want an answer guys look what he said he wasn't wrong he said he felt as how do you know his order has cut off I mean have do you know more than him he is the one is suffering from it what's wrong with you mm. when you say he was not wrong he said he felt as he was wrong he was not wrong but he felt wrong are you saying he felt wrong are you saying your prophet he chose the wrong words are you saying your prophet he felt wrong about which part is cut off say it you don't dare you're playing with the answer saying he was not wrong explain to me how he wasn't wrong he named the orta he named the poison and he said at this moment at this time so what do you mean he was not wrong obviously according to you your prophet was wrong at least his line his feeling was right that does not mean that actually happened guys look at this his feeling is right so his feeling is right <laughs> about what about what about the orta being cut off about what will you say his feeling is right his feeling saying i feel the pain caused by the pool i ate in khaybar that my orta is cut off so his feeling is right so his feeling according to you is right that's mean he was cut off in his orta <laughs> Unbelievable. why you don't call us abdul why don't call us please call us and you know allah will give you a reward if you call us Und er sagt ja, oh Aisha, ich fühle immer noch den Schmerz, dass ich beim, beim Essen gegessen habe, dass, dass ich bei Khaibar gegessen habe. Und es fühlt sich so an, als würde meine Schlagader durchtrennt werden von dem Gift. Was meinst du, was das für ein Leiden für ihn war? Also es, es ist doch nicht normal, wie du versuchst, alles zu drehen und zu wenden, nur um aus, diesen, aus dieser Sache rauszukommen. Das ist doch nicht normal. Hier sind wir ein Propheten, also... Mohammed ist ja für mich kein Prophet, aber wenn wir uns den Text ja durchlesen, dann sehen wir jemanden, der vergiftet wurde und von dem Gift solche Schmerzen hatte, dass, dass er gefühlt hat, dass seine Schlagader weggestrennt wird. Was meinst du, wie hardcore das für den war? Das können wir jetzt gar nicht vorstellen. Der hat es ja nur hier gesagt oder derjenige, der die äh, Geschichte hier fabriziert hat. Und das ist ja auch noch Sahih al-Bukhari. Da, da brauch, können wir ja nicht mal äh, sagen, dass das vielleicht naiv wäre oder sowas. Da, da gibt es ja nichts mehr dran, um zu rütteln. That's vast. You know what about what about uh, just to show him that Muhammad he don't say wrong according to Islam. When Muhammad he described the, the illness of a person and he told him what to drink, 
Let us read what Muhammad, what the hadith says. A man mm. came to the Prophet and said, My brother, and this is Sahih al Bukhari, don't tell me it's weak. My brother mm. has some abominable tr trouble. The Prophet said to him, Let him drink honey. The man came back again, second time, and said to the Prophet that his brother still sick. So he told him, let him drink honey. The prophet is stuck with the drinking honey. Then the guy, mm. he came for the third time. And the prophet said to him, let him drink honey. Like, what the heck? Ask him what his pain, where his pain, the pain is in his nose, the pain in his toes, the pain in his belly. Where? He do not. Look, look. Muhammad did not even ask anything. Let him drink honey. But maybe if he had diabetes. Now look at this. And then the guy, he returned to the fourth time. To the fourth time. And he said to Muhammad, I have done that. <laughs> then the prophet really? said, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this joke. Hold on, hold on. Let me clean this. The prophet said to him, Abdul, read carefully with me what the prophet said. The prophet then <laughs> said, Allah said the truth. But your brother Billy is lying. <laughs> so when Muhammad is speaking, here, brother, brother huh? what is the word "domen" in in, uh, in in Arabic? Billy, Billy, the Billy, the, the Billy, the Billy, the Billy, the Billy, but no, but no, the your 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 brother Billy. Ah, uh, okay. And your brother Billy is lying. So what do you mean, Muhammad? He felt as are you saying your prophet? Because here he claim that even when he described medicine, it's Allah saying. When he described a solution for sickness, somebody feel even it's not his belly, but he knew exactly what's happening, and he claimed that Allah told him that. So what do you mm. mean he feel as? Look what he said. Your brother Abundaman has told a lie, and Allah told the truth. And then the guy he was cured for sure never come back because he would be killed. Muhammad scared him, almost <laughs> killed him. Huh? Read Don't with me here. This is the same hadith. This is the same hadith. Look what it says. The Prophet Allah of Allah has said the truth. This guy here, okay. When he said that, he said to him, Let him drink honey. The man came again and said, I made him drink honey, but that made him worse. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is dying. He gave him honey, but is the guy is dying. The prophet now he felt like his guy is getting him busted. What? He felt worse. So look what he said to him. The prophet of Allah, he said, has he said, Allah has said the truth and the abandonment of your brother has told a lie. See hadith number 88, brother. <laughs> the, this hadith proved to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Yeah. Not only this. Because, no, no. Man, but brother, let, me, let me explain it. Because when you ask a prophet... <laughs> A man came to the prophet and said, my brother has got loose motions. And then the first time the prophet, when he said something, that means it is right. And then he said, let him dr drink honey. And then this guy drink honey. And the man again came and said, I made him drink honey. But that made him worse. <laughs> that means Muhammad is a liar. Not only this, that is refute this guy about the prophet saying, mm -hmm. as if I, as you see here, Muhammad he claimed that when he described even medicine for somebody else is sick He knew exactly what his illness. He knew exactly what's happened in his stomach He knew exactly what's happening in his belly and he claimed that the one who told him that is Allah because he said Allah has said the truth So what do you mean the Prophet said as if is as if? What mm -hmm. as if? Mm -hmm. That's what the Quran says everything Muhammad he says is an inspiration From Allah. brother yeah. Let me let me try to explain it a little bit in in German, but because this hadith is very very important to um, to uh, tell the Muslims that Muhammad is a false prophet. Also in der Geschichte ist es sehr Wahnsinn. Ein Mann kam zum Propheten und sagte, mein Bruder uh, hat uh, motions, also uh, uh, Gefühle, ne? seine Gefühle verloren oder irgendwie sowas. Und der Prophet sagte, let him drink honey, lass ihm Honig trinken. Also, wenn das ein Prophet Gottes wäre und er immer im Namen äh, Gottes ja auch redet, weißt du, was ich meine? Und wenn Leute zu ihm kommen und er die erste Antwort ja sagt, dann muss es ja auch die Antwort sein, die Allah ihm ja in das Herz legt. 
Und wenn er zu ihm sagt, lass ihn Honig trinken, dann wird er gesund. Auf einmal kam ja dann dieser Mann zurück und sagt, ich habe ihn Honig trinken lassen, aber es wurde noch schlimmer. Also ist Mohammed ein Lügner in dem Hadith. Das ist ja Wahnsinn, das beweist uns eindeutig, dass Mohammed ja hier gelogen hat und gar kein Prophet ist. Look at this guy. Versteht das? Look at this guy, he said. How is that the same? My friend, are you saying your prophet, he tell the truth when it's about somebody else's stomach, but he don't tell the truth when it is his stomach? <laughs> are you saying to me your prophet he knew was exactly inside the stomach of the guy accusing that his stomach is lying and Allah told the, the truth but yet he do not know what's happening inside his stomach and you are saying to me how is that the same what's wrong with you when your prophet oh. described for this yeah. guy the medicine and he knew exactly what is inside his stomach he claimed that Allah told him that okay when Muhammad he said that it is I am dying by the poison Allah told him that or it was the devil or he is assuming Tell us mm -hmm. and he was wrong You see they don't want to be honest and to see how stupid this religion is and obviously it's not only this just to mention not to forget, not forget to mention mm -hmm. Muhammad he said in the Quran Regarding his hadith. He said that if he is lying if he is lying May Allah cut his artery if he is lying. Remember, if we, if we go in the Quran, Muhammad said the following that if Allah said supposedly, <clears throat> if Muhammad, if I repeat verses in our name, we will cut his artery. Who is the one saying that? Allah. And this is a chapter 69, verse number. 45 44 45 46 and 46 says exactly that if Muhammad is lying we will cut his orta okay now what we learn from this if Muhammad is lying Allah will cut his orta and this is exactly what happened this is exactly what happened my friend if Muhammad is lying we will cut his artery and then <coughs> Muhammad he died by the same way he claimed if he is lying it's going to happen to him uh, some Muslims claim look Muhammad is a true prophet he uh, he knows how he died <laughs> yeah he's a true prophet uh, uh, his true prophet he prophesied that he's lying <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he prophesied no, read the verse properly. I did read the verse properly. It says, Muhammad, Allah, he said, if our, if Muhammad is lying, fabricated verses, we will cut his artery. What do you mean read it properly? What about you call us? What, what, what he said? What will Allah do before that? He will hold his right hand. <laughs> My friend, hold his right hand. It's mean he cannot escape him. Go and read the interpretation. Do you want really Allah to hold him from his right hand? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> my friend, my friend, your God, he said that in the judgment day, Allah will put a flag in your buttocks. Do you really believe mm -hmm. Allah will put a flag in your buttocks? Say yes. Please say yes. Say yes, say yes. Who is a Muslim when I say yes? I believe in that. Allah will put a flag in your buttocks. Flag in the buttocks? How that will happen? How he can put it? Explain to us. Who is the Muslim when I give us a call and explain how Allah can put a flag in the buttocks of the Abdul? You will be like a, the embassy car. You have a flag in your buttocks. Like USA, uh, flag of Argentina, flag of uh, Shishania, flag. Everybody have a flag in his buttocks. Do we have any Abdul? In the what? You don't know what in the what? Explain to him in German. I don't know. This guy, he speaks he speak English, don't he? You do not know what buttocks mean? Somebody explain to him what buttocks mean. Buttocks it mean it's your butt. Mm -hmm. Allah will put a flag in your ass. And by the way, is it, this is even in the Quran. 
the Quran Allah he said that the one who Allah he don't he, he will punish Allah will insert a chain in his anus See, they, they always when I speak to Muslim, they say to me, I've never heard this before. Where do you get it from? This is a lie. Where do you get it from? It's a lie, brother. Chapter 69, and look, the chapter number is 69. Miracle. This is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> chapter 69, it says that Allah will insert in you a chain, which is the length of 70 cubit. Is that right, Muslims? You see it? Chapter 69, verse number 32. I don't know what it says in German language. Maybe Amir can uh, 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 read for us. Does it say that? <clears throat> I have to wait a little bit because uh, the live stream is a little bit... Um, okay. Uh, as uh, 29, should I read 29? Uh, sorry, what? Uh, uh, no, you read. Uh, uh, you read thirty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, thirty-two. Yeah. Hierauf steckt ihn in eine Kette, deren Länge siebzig Ellen ist. Okay. What is the meaning of this verse? Who is the Muslim on a call us and tell us what will happen? Also, welcher Muslim will uns sagen, was dieser Vers bedeutet? Is it true that Allah will insert in the anus of the Muslim a huge chain, have all the iron and the earth in every ring of it? Anyone? Suddenly, this guy uh, Zen, he do not know what the buttocks mean. He do not know anything. Suddenly, his English is, is is gone. A second ago, he was expert in English. He said to me, "You don't understand what is written in English." Trying to explain to me the hadith in English. Now he do not know what buttocks mean. Mm -hmm. Any Abdu want to explain to us? Is it true? That Allah will insert in the anus of the Muslims a chain, and every ring of it is equal to a ring, every ring of it actually equal to the whole iron in the world. Is that true, Muslims? Or I'm making up a lie. <clears throat> Anyone? Is that true or it's a lie? Where it says the anus, okay, I will show you the anus. Guys, where it says the word anus? <laughs> where, where? Where is the word anus? Huh? You are lying. Does it say anus? Look how he wants to play. Look how he wants to play. Where it says anus? No problem. I mean, we are here for the... Always, remember, my friend, always customers come first. Customers Perfect, come. yeah. Chapter 69, verse number 32. Who is the one who knows what the Quran means? The Muslims. Who are the Muslims? The scholars. Okay, we go to the scholars. Here we go. It's chapter 69, verse number 32. I turn my head up and down. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, a bunch of Abdul hiding from me. I turn my head. Turn, turn. Here we go. What a beautiful song, brother. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. I'm going to quit my career, my friend. Just hold on. Let us see if we can find the anus for him to his majesty. Because where it says anus, where it says that you are lying. Okay. And fasten him. This is Ibn Kathir. On a chain, wherefore the length is 70 cubits. Kabul Ahbar said, Every ring of this chain is equal to the whole entire amount of iron found in this world. What? This is how big it is. Every ring, every ring of this chain, equal the iron in it, equal to all the iron in this world. I'm not going to say how many billion tons, because even if our blood have iron, and then Al Wafi reported from Ibn Abbas and Ibn Juraj, both they said each cubit will be form uh, uh, forms length of an angle of an angel. Sorry, wow. Ibn Juraj reported that Ibn Abbas said, Fa'asliku. then fasten him, it will be entered into his buttocks. Now, you know, where is the word anus? This is the word anus, Abdul. 
You are saying to me where I got the word buttocks from. Here we go. It's in the front of your eyes. They will insert this chain inside your anus. Do you see it? Is that a Christian prince saying that? No. This is Ibn Kathir reporting Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, and reporting Ibn Juraj. Any Muslim have an objection for Allah inserting things in your anus? <laughs> say it, say it. I object. Say it. By yeah, the way, by, by the way, I advise you, I advise you all of you to buy a lot of Vaseline. I mean, you need it. Guck doch ganz genau hin, da steht es doch. It will be entered in, into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth. Das heißt, es wird in seinem Hinterteil reingesteckt und aus seinem Mund kommt es wieder raus. Siehst du, was hier abgeht? Warum setzt du dich ständig mit dem Islam auseinander? Sei doch froh, dass der Christian Prince hier ist und dir das alles zeigt. My friend, Warum look, versuchst du, look what this guy uh, has said. Uh, uh, Amir, did you see what this guy, this, uh, this Muslim, what he said? He said, okay, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, this Abdul, he did not see anything wrong with it. Inserting in a small anus. How big is your anus? Every ring of this chain have more iron, more than all the iron in the world. And you are saying to me, nothing wrong with it? First of all, that's mean your prophet and your God, he enjoy putting things in the anus of people. Number two, that's mean he's mentally sick. I mean, what kind of punishment this guy is coming with to insert things in the anus? He could not find anything except the anus and insert. And how he will make all the iron in the world go inside your anus. And you are just little tiny. I mean, your anus is, how big is your anus, Abdul? I see nothing wrong with it. Okay, thanks. Nothing wrong with it. I'm really so, I, I'm, I, I cannot believe that you are so smart and you don't see anything wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. This must be God. <laughs> Only God can do that. And then he insert this a huge chain, which every ring of it equal to the whole air in the earth, and he extracted from your mouth. Actually, in different, later you will find, it says here from his two nostrils, which means they will take it from the two holes in your nose. Do you see it? It will run into his behind, which means his anus, until it's brought out of his two, <laughs> two nose, two holes in his nose. This is this is God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Now, now he's laughing. Now he's laughing. Lol. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Allah is a God of anus expert. He knew what he's doing. He will insert and ever. I hope your God will wash his hands after doing that. Huh? Unbelievable. Look, look what he's saying. This is ridiculous to who again? Huh? This is ridiculous to who? To anyone have a brain, my friend? To anyone wow. have a brain? You are saying this is ridiculous according to who? To anyone have little brain? Do you have a brain? I am laughing at your stupidity. Look at this, Abdul. <laughs> he believed in such a garbage and he said, I, I laugh in your stupidity. Look how he... I have to control myself. Control really. yourself, control myself. You know, my, my brother, let us drink some camel urine so we can cool down. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> it may be help us oh, to uh, control ourselves. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul here would like to call us? Any Abdul would like to call us, please. All right. Well, you know, Amir, I'm not going to hold you longer. It's it's getting late for you. Uh, too bad. We wish that some Abdul will call us and we will be with us live. But obviously, mm -hmm. they don't really dare to call us. What we can what we can do? I mean, as you see, we are showing everything uh, on the screen, and nobody can say we are adding one more word to what is written there. Um, uh, look what this guy's saying. It is your brain, the certeria. What is right? What's wrong? Are you God knows who makes standard? Lul, nice shouting. Abdul, so when your prophet, he did marry a child, she is six years old. Is that the standard of God to marry a child? She is six years old. Is that a good standard? Is that the standard of God to insert chain in the anus of people? Is that the standard of God that he allows shaitan to round himself around your penis. 
it is standard of God that you cannot drink wine, but you can drink camel urine. <laughs> I mean, what kind? If we open, if we open the refrigerator of your prophet, what we will find? Camel urine, chain for the anus, rocks to clean his ass, sheet to order his wife to put it within her legs when she have her period. Uh, a dish. Anyone knows why the dish? Anyone knows why the dish? Let me show you what Muhammad, the dish he eat with, what he used to do with it. Hold on. Uh, from this kufaid, huh? Huh? No, no. This kufaid. is different, different from the kufaid. This is... <laughs> I wish. I, I wish. <laughs> this is something a lot more. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let us see here. Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith, which is very funny and very stupid. Uh, it, it's not coming. All right, let's see. Uh, sometime you've tried to find the hadith. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is about the wife of the prophet. She was she, she was suffering from infection, sexual infection, STD. And she put a dish under her private part where she was praying. And her private part was dropping drop by drop. What do you say? Well, the fraud is the one who says, if you pay me money, you go to heaven, my friend. That is your prophet. What do you say? Guys, did you hear any time Christian prince saying, if you give me money, you will go to heaven? Do you agree that the one who say to people, if you pay me money, you will go to heaven? Here we go. Muhammad, he fabricated verses in the Quran saying, pay me before even you speak to me. <clears throat> Read it. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذ ناجيتم الرسول فقدموا بين يدي نجواكم صدقة. Okay. Translation. صدق. Translation. If you want, or who you believe, if you like to speak to the prophet in private, private, what you need to do? You have to pay him money. That is the fraud. <laughs> Read it. Or who you believe when you consult with the messenger in a private spend some money in a charity before your private consultation <laughs> <laughs> I do what I do for free my friend you see I did seminars many places everywhere I go I never took a penny you're a prophet he will not even accept to talk to you unless you pay him in a front who is the fraud? Wow. Huh? In different verse in the Quran, <clears throat> it says, follow those who ask you for no wages. Hmm? How this can happen? It's a contradiction. Hmm? Any Abdul want to answer? Anyone? Follow those who ask for no wages. How you follow Muhammad? And this verse, by the way, was speaking about who? Do you know uh, Amir? This verse was speaking about uh -huh. the, was speaking about Paul and Peter and C uh, uh, Simon Peter and Paul. And supposedly John. Ittabi'u men la yas'alakum ajra wa hum muhtadun. 
chapter 36 verse number 21 follow those who ask for no wages and they are the guided one and if you go to the interpretation you will find that those ones are paul and simon peter and john wow perfect this is a clear knockout muhammad in the quran he made even a verse about he will take the fifth from every attack not only he's asking mm -hmm. people before yeah you know not only is asking people to pay him in front for a private consultation and yet when he speak about the messengers of jesus they are the one who they ask for no wages and i challenge any muslim to say that this is not about the messengers of jesus who was the muslim want to say this is not about them <clears throat> any muslim and by the way, how those three messengers are messengers of Allah, but yet they are the messengers of Jesus. Is Jesus yeah, God? Yeah. How how Jesus can send the prophets and messengers if he is just a man? Stupidity <laughs> of Muhammad. He copied it. He put it there. How Jesus is a messenger, but yet yet this this chapter is speaking about his messengers. Any Abdul? <clears throat> In the hadith, you will see Muhammad, he said something very funny, exposing him very well. He asked people to make donation to him, and he collect right away the donation. He opened a sheet, and he started taking their money from them immediately, scaring the women, making them believe if they don't give him money, they will go to hell. <laughs> immediately. You know, read with me carefully, Abdul. Let me show you the story. <clears throat> uh, tons of stories, actually, but I want to show you one is very clear. <clears throat> where Muhammad he start collecting he ordered Bilal to collect right away the money where is the hadith <clears throat> claiming that women they will go to hell but if they pay him they will go to heaven. Okay. <laughs> like the like the Catholic Church, no? They say something like this, no? No, no. You see, this is not about the Catholic. You see, the the, the uh, I I heard many people speaking about the Catholic Church. Donation in churches is for every church it has nothing to do with the Catholic. This is not to do with the Catholic. And by the way, uh, I know that uh, I spoke to Raza about the Catholic Church. Uh, you know, there is some I don't agree with the Catholic, but there is wonderful things the Catholic they did, and there is many things the Catholic they did. But this is not the Catholic people; this is the Catholic leaders. We need to make a differentiation. Corruption can be mm -hmm. exist uh, Amir, in every church in the world, because a human mm -hmm. being is a sinner, and the Catholic Church is no different. It's the same as any church. There's corrupt people like Muhammad. There's child molester too, like Muhammad. And there is good people. So we judge everyone will be judged by his fruit, not by the name of the church. You know what I mean? You can be mm -hmm. from the Catholic Church who believe in Jesus as God, as Savior, as only salvation, and you will be saved. And you can be from the Protestant Church, and you can be from the Orthodox Church. However, from their fruits, you shall not know them, not from their names. Mm -hmm. you know? Not from their names. Yeah, anyway, uh, somebody is posting, but sometimes sometime I find the hate right away. Hold, hold on. Let me find it right away. <clears throat> Let's search in a different way here. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Here we go. We found it. Read with me. This is Sahih Muslim. 
It says, Muhammad, he came and he told the woman, a woman, do charity. Do what? What is the purpose of the conversation? To do charity. Why? Because if you don't do charity, all of you are going to go to hell, or the majority of you. And then he walked till he came to the women. Look, he is targeting the women to fool them. And he said, and he preached to them and admonished them and asked them to give alms, to give what? Donation. For most of them are the fuel of hell. Okay. If I am the fuel of hell, why I should give the nation? And what if I give the nation, I will go to heaven now? Any Muslim can explain? You are saying to me, Christian Prince, you are the fuel of hell. Give donation. What does that mean? It means if I give you donation, I will not go to hell. Are you saying we can bribe God? Muslims, are you saying your prophet saying, if you pay me money, you will go to heaven? Yes, that's what it says. And then right away, Muhammad, he ordered Bilal to collect the money and he they, they, he put his sheet and then they began to give alms out of their jewelries. They started throwing their earrings, their rings and their bracelet in the clothes of Bilal. Do you see it? So Muhammad, he scared the hell of them, saying to them, you are going to go to hell, all of you women. They are bad. You are bad. You are bad. You go to hell. You are going to be burned in hell, barbecue. I smell your skin is burning right now. You better give money, money, give me money, give me money, and then you receive honey. You will not go to hell. Yeah, but this, this is the fraud. This is the fraud, my friend. <laughs> if you don't want Brother. to go to hell, pay me money now. But the women still the same, nothing changed. He did not say to them, Don't do what you are doing. He said, Give me alms. So, what is the solution to go to heaven? To give Muhammad donation. <clears throat> who is the fraud who is the fraud <laughs> really the fraud but, uh, is the one who I'm now, money. and I have to cook a little bit for tomorrow for all my right, work my friend. it's all been right. a little bit late all right, my friend. Uh, we hear about us and we talk to each other we <clears throat> writing and talking tomorrow so God willing yeah, if if we uh, if we if we will do again uh, tomorrow, if uh, he have time, I have time. We we will, I will make an advanced uh, setup, guys. We will use for now, from now on, for now uh, until I update you with something new. The Arabian Prophet for podcast. Just take a note, please subscribe. And uh, brother Amir, he is always uh, when he have time, he can be with me anytime he wish. No problem. Thank you, Amir, right. for being with us. Okay. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. God bless. All right. Anyway, guys, if you are a Muslim and you have any kind of honesty, ask yourself, is it the way really to go to heaven by give, be giving a prophet some earring and some rings? Remember, those women, this is their security. There's no banks at that time. There's no social security. There's no retirement. Why Muhammad is taking their earrings? Allah need money? Who is the one need money here, Allah? What about Muhammad saying, okay, give them money, don't give it to me, give it to the poor? Muhammad inherited all the money of Khadija, which is was second person in Quraysh. Where the money? What he did with it? Why he need more and more? And the Muslim, they say to us, the Prophet was so poor, and they fabricate a story that the Prophet, he borrow money from a Jew before he die. Well, my friend, when Muhammad died, there was no Jews. He killed them all. What a lie. Who is the Jew who Muhammad borrowed his, his, his money from before he died? Before he died? <laughs> all right. I cannot put this image in the screen, the one who sent it to me in Skype. Because there's a child, there's a minor there. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, uh, I hope the Muslims are listening carefully and learning carefully. Islam, obviously, it's a false cult. There's nothing, no truth in it. And everything we say there is in the front of you on the screen. We did give you interpretation of the Muslims, translation of the Muslims, website of the Muslims, and as you see, no Muslim dare to call us and to prove us wrong. 
after we finish and we close our program you will see how many Muslim will post in the text saying he's a liar but nobody what? there to call us and show us how I'm lying I'm reading from your website in the front of your eyes you see the Muslim they say why you don't show us your face why you want to see my face what my face will do to you what is the service my face will provide if I show you my face what you need is my knowledge and the reference I'm showing you my face is not needed for what I'm not a singer I'm not an actor I'm not a belly dancer so why you want to see me except you are being silly And I'm not here. I'm not here to insult anyone. I'm here just to read what is in the front of me, and I share with you. Are you a believer in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Are you a Muslim, Oktai, Baba? Are you a Muslim, Mister Oktai? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim or not? I answered you. Yes, I believe. My name is a Christian prince, not Hindu prince. So are you a Muslim, my friend? What are you, a Muslim? Why you don't call me? Do you like to call me, have a nice conversation, me and you? Look, there is almost 40 people left by now because they thought I am done. Is the earth is round? What do you think? The Bible says the earth is round. What do you say? What do you say? The Quran says the earth is a flat. Okay, call me. Call me and show me where in the Quran, why the Quran says the earth is a flat and I will show you from the Bible where it says that the earth is round. What do you do? Do you accept the challenge? <clears throat> do you accept the challenge, Abdul? Guys, is that his question? This is his topic, isn't it? It's not my topic. So I hope he will not change his mind and he will back down now and he will run away. You are the one who says, do you believe in the Bible? Why? Because somebody stupid, he said to you, the Bible teach the earth is a flat. Who is that donkey? You are a liar, my friend. I challenge you to show me where it says that. You want to say to me, the Bible says the four corners of the earth? That is because you are crazy. And now in the books of history, in the books of science, they say that it's a phrase, it's a figure of a speech. The Bible is the only book which says that the earth is like a ball and hanged on nothing. Do you want me to show you the reference? It's your Quran who says the earth is a flat. Let me show you life in the screen. <laughs> Abdul, you have no idea you are talking to who? No idea. It's your Quran. Chapter 79, verse number 30. What the word the ha ha mean? I saw many videos saying that the word the ha ha mean he make it like a ball. What a ball, jeet. That is translation. The ha ha mean he made it flat. Do you want me to show you, my friend? Do you want me to show you? Is it true that the Quran, in many verses, not only here, in tons of verses, this is just the beginning. Confirm that Allah, he made the earth flat. Yes or no? Say yes, say yes, say no, say no. And I thought you want to call me. What happened? Let us open a tafsir so that Abdul will not say, I'm making things up. Hold on. A tafsir. Dot com. This is your official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And we will show you the tafsir one by one, my friend. One by one. Again, chapter 79, verse number 30. All right. 79, verse number 30. Christian Prince, do you believe in the Bible? The Bible says the earth is a flat, brother. <laughs> it's your book who says that. Not my book, Abdul. <laughs> and after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. 
Wow, I'm so disappointed. I thought this is the Bible. It turned to be the Quran. It turned to be in the Quran. Hello? My friend, show me where in the Bible it says the earth is a flat. What's wrong with you? So now you admitted that you are a Muslim and the Quran is full of lies, and that is very good. At least you admit it with something right, and you are being honest. Thank you. Anyway, guys, maybe the second time some Muslims, Abdul, will call us and will show us why the earth is a flat. And by the way, the earth is a flat in my country, where I'm coming from, because my country is Islamic. I mean, I think Allah, he was speaking about Islamic countries only. Hmm. Because everything there is a flat. The brain is a flat. Buildings are flat. Buildings, sixth floor building came in flat. Why is our side bomber yesterday? Huh? Everything is a flat. Brain is a flat. Intelligence is a flat. The police is a flat. There's nothing. I mean, there's nothing. There's no police. There's nothing. There. I mean, nothing. It took my mom nine hours to make a cake. Why? Because we celebrate Christmas there every day. The electricity come and go. Come and go. Come and go. By the time the cake is done, it's burned. It's, I mean, it's, it's history. And people are asleep. Everything is a flat there, but we are so proud. We have the best countries in the world. Man, I'm sick of Germany. Disgusting. Disgusting France, brother. Disgusting America. Kfarland, brother. Disgusting. I don't believe it how those people can even live here. Go to my country where I'm coming from. Yeah, right. Uh, I miss it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we pray to the Muslim to see the truth. And the truth will set you free. Again, we are not making fun of you. We are making fun of Allah. He is my joke. He is stupid. He is false God. And your prophet, obviously, he have a PhD in stupidity. And only idiot will believe in such a stupid idiot. I'm not insulting you, but you can take it as you wish. I'm insulting, who care? I'm insulting the intelligent of a human being, how stupid it is can be sometimes, to believe that God will give you endless penis, that God will make you will make you, will make make you you 90 mile tall and your wife is 30 mile tall. I mean, why she is so small, man? How I can hug her? She have to climb? How we can take selfie together? I am 90 mile and she is 30 mile. Is Allah trying to make number 10? Zero and one? Zero in Arabic, not zero in English. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And Islam obviously is a big fat lie. And this Christian Prince, wish you a good evening, good night, good afternoon for everybody. And see you soon again. Take care and bye-bye.